Hey Taurus, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview for you for October the 26th, the week of. Okay, so we have full moon in your sign this week. So, uh, you know, this is nice. It helps you just bring things to a close. Um, you want to be a little bit careful with um, money that you don't act too quickly and try not to be impulsive <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> there's a temptation here to, to um, get out and spend money that perhaps you don't need to and with Saturn in your solar eighth house now for a couple of years it gives you an opportunity to work with people that are going to help you just build your bank up and you know money in the bank means security particularly for you uh, a Taurus okay uh, security and security as in your home and security as in your bank are both very important to you now uh, you want to be careful of being possessive this week as well with the loved one we do have the sun right opposite your sign and the full moon which means the moon's in your sign and the sun is opposite and that's the full moon um, so it can be quite intense and quite a lovely connection with somebody on a romantic level but um, you know remember there's give and take and compromise and it's nice to be independent it's nice to be together if you can get a balance of both then you know that's a great thing um, so be careful of you know letting your possessive uh, street sort of step in and spoil something beautiful and uh, and about the towards the end of the week we've got a, a water train which is a very favorable um, astrological aspect and it's with the sun in Scorpio right opposite you there in your area of relationships and the trine is with uh, in Pisces which is with Neptune so this is very romantic and it brings in social outings uh, also friends and of course the best um, partnership you can have intimate partnership you can have is with your best friend and right now that can happen and with Mercury moving into your relationship area uh, later in the week the start of November the end of October then this really sets the scene for you to have a heart-to-heart -heart with with um, someone special in your life and tell them exactly how you feel uh, not from a confronting point of view but from a very sensitive uh, point of view and you can really make sure that you get their attention timing you know is important but you can really just get your point of view and your feelings across in a heartfelt way during this time uh, if you're looking for love then uh, you know put yourself out there in the social market because with this trine uh, with Neptune in your solar 11th house it's all very much about uh, getting together with friends and getting out there and being social okay all right love and luck to you I hope you have a nice week I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching